Okay, I'm not sure we were recording. This is lesson 20. I'm so sorry for those of you at home. We're doing least common multiple, which is opposite of greatest common factor. So greatest common factor is the biggest of the small numbers that go into two numbers. The least common multiple is the smallest number of the numbers that they go into. So instead of finding the factors, we're listing out the multiples. Oh, no. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 3, 6, 9, uh, 12, 15. So you're just circling the first one they have in common, okay? Now you can do that method. That takes a while sometimes. Like in this case, it took a little bit. Or you can use the factor tree method. You can find the prime factors. And then in the least common multiple is the biggest of each factor. So the biggest two that we see is just a normal two. The biggest three is three to the fourth is bigger than three squared. So we just include a two and a three to the fourth. We multiply all that together to get 162. That's what we did here. Least common multiple of these three numbers. Well, these, if you did the factor tree and found the prime, prime factorization, then you get this stuff. So the biggest two is a two squared because there's a two squared. Biggest three is still a three to the fourth. Biggest five is five to the third. Multiply all that together, you get 40,500. What'd you get, Nathan? 13,200. Nope. Ah, so, Come on. so keep working. Come on. So least common multiple. Now we're doing a challenge here. Least common multiple of 24, 55, and 80. So I would use the factor, find the prime factors, and then multiply the biggest of each factor together to get the least common multiple. Mm -hmm. I'm doing everything wrong. Alright, I guess I just have to do the... And we'll do this one. We'll spell it all out nicely Welcome to for all our viewers at home. What? Anybody have an answer yet? Well, I put my finger in my ear and then I heard a pencil sharpener. <laughs> Timing is everything. Well, I had to start over and do freaking prime factorization, so. So what are we doing now? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was doing prime factorization for a while. <laughs> that's, you do that. Why wouldn't you do that? Fake method didn't work. I Put the, do the prime factorization of, of all three of those. You can't? Yeah, and then, and then multiply the biggest of each factor together. That's what we did on all these other problems. Oh my god, that's a great idea. <laughs> Except I'm sorry, I was in the middle of drawing this. I, 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 didn't, I don't know what we're doing. I know, Xavier. Let me you, 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 uh, don't sometimes do you do different okay. things. Don't yes. Do Xavier. 2,640. Okay, say the number correctly. Dang it. I said that. 2,640. That's correct. Good job. All right, let me, let's break it down here. Concept, right? So 24, how, how do you write 24? You can use the cake method so or the tree. What is that, two times 12, two times six, two times three, so this is two to the third times three, right? Yes. Two, there's three twos we multiplied and one three. Okay, what about 55? Five times 11. And then you're done, right? That's nice. What about 80? Uh, 8 times 10, which equals 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2, and then 5 times 2. <laughs> okay, so you get 1, 2, 3, 4 2s, so 2 to the 4th, and then a 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the least common multiple, how do you, now that you've done your prime factorization, how do you figure out the least common multiple? Um, you take the biggest number of so All right, so let's start with the smallest uh, number. Okay, I got it now. So least common multiple equals what? Two to the fourth. So two to the fourth, see that? Because that's bigger than two to the third and there's no twos there, so you're just big, doing the one with the biggest exponent, okay? Uh, three. 
And then just one three. So that, see how there's no threes here, there's no threes here, there's just one three there. So you're just gonna multiply one three. And then what? One five. And then just one five, but these both have one five in it. So the biggest, the tie goes, I mean, it's just, they appear most five, I right? Times five. So when you multiply that out. Times 11. Oh yeah, times another 11. Right? Because there's only one 11 and one of that, so that's it. So 2,640, is that right? Yeah. Good. Mr. Yes, you may go to the bathroom. Am I taller than you? Probably. Yes. yes. <laughs> you wear lifts in all your I'm shoes. I'm taller than my grand lifts in all your shoes. Okay, that's it. Than... That's how the I'm cool kids are doing it. Thank you and good night. Black math! Give me some math and I'll give you some flack. Black math!